edit script. You will select VLEDB, click on connect. Next, to load tables, click on select button. Here I load only product script. I'll name that products. Okay, by default also it will take same this one. Only. Okay, now I have established a database connection and I have loaded a table products table. Now I want to convert this products table into products.qd file. For the purpose, here we have to give store command. We need to write store command. Store table name products into qd file name products.qd in brackets qd power by semi store table name products into qd file name products.qd in brackets qd if I click on reload qd file will be generated products.qd file will be generated and its default storage location is where this click to document located Default storage location is where this click document located. Click on reload. Product start QD file will be generated. Now we this file is generated. We have created QD files. Now I want to read data from those QD files. To load data from those QD files, we need to write some load statement. We have stored that one in a subfolder. See? Now, if you go to table here, this is QD file data. This is Beautiful data, not table data. Now we'll establish database connectivity. To load tables, click on select button. Just before the load statement, I'll give buffer prefix. Buffer prefix and click on reload. QD file will be generated automatically with some encrypted name. Default storage location is 